Did this man touch you? No. Did no. he rape you? No. Did he in any way violate you sexually? No, sir. Ever at any point? No, never. This is your first on-camera interview many, many years after. Why now? Why here? There's only so much that you can live with. And John has a new attorney that is speaking for him and moving mountains that his old attorneys never would. I, I don't know, we're here. At the time of trial, uh, you, you said what you said as a child, and um, children do things for childish reasons. Uh, um, I am uh, not going to hold an adult responsible for childish decisions and childish things. What was said, if it was a lie, uh, was a terrible thing to do. There's no question about that, and you know that. You don't need me to tell you that. That's why you're here. That's why this has been eating away at you. If, in fact, you're telling the truth now, you're saying, I'm a liar. I've lied under oath. I've lied in court. I've lied in written statements. I'm a liar. And so the question that people have to focus on is, well, when are you lying? Are you lying then or are you lying now? It's been really hard over the years. I've had to watch my younger brother grow up without his father. Uh, John has other children that, because of what I said, it took it away from me. It, he was gone. He has missed so much. So you do feel guilty about it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and you could feel guilty about it even if he had done it. You could feel guilty about him being in prison for life without parole, even if he had done something to you. Yes. So that's what prosecutors and judges and people have to weigh mm -hmm. and take into account. You took a lie detector test. What was the result? Inconclusive. Inconclusive. Yes. Uh, why do you think that was the case? I chalked it up to my nerves. Well, here's your sworn statement. Uh, recanted statement on October 20th, 2005. Question, what brought this statement forward? Alyssa, my mom and I had gotten into an argument one day. I remember so many details during court, during the trial, and now those details, I can't even remember, not even a quarter of them. And the ones that I do remember, they don't make sense. Like me saying that he raped me numerous times at my grandfather's house. I slept in bed with my grandma most nights and on the other side of the house from him. There was no way for him to get to me. There were 10 people living in the house. My mom, we had gotten into an argument about a couple of things and she was talking about her and John's relationship and about him being in jail. John's son, not having a father figure around because of it. And that's pretty much what brought it out. So... Let me ask you something. Um, when you talked about what he did to you, you were exactly how old? The first time? Yeah. I was eight or nine. I was in fourth grade. And this was to a counselor at school? Yes. Okay. And as you describe these things to different people along the way, you were pretty graphic. Yeah. It was embellished over the years. Mm -hmm. But um, how did you have those things in your vocabulary? Uh, I was forced to do group therapy and one-on-one -on -one therapy with the Children's Advocacy Center. Uh -huh. And a lot of the things that I picked uh -huh. up, they definitely weren't in my home life, uh, was things that I heard other people discussing in those therapy sessions. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.